Now subtracting vectors is very much like subtracting integers. And here's the example that I'll use with integers before we get into vectors. Subtracting two integers is the same as adding the opposite of the second integer. So for example, 6 subtract 10 is the same as 6 plus negative 10. So there's changing subtracting a positive into adding the opposite, adding a negative. Now, so what exactly is the opposite of a vector? I've, I've talked about that a little bit earlier in the lesson when we did uh, the uh, adding part. Consider these two vectors, BC and the vector CB. If I were to add those two vectors, BC and CB, then I would, okay, let's, see, let's say I'll start with a BC here, and I want to put a copy of CB so that the tail of that is right here, and it'll be going, of course, towards the left, because CB goes towards the left. So BC, graphically, plus CB would actually look like that. And notice that the tail of the first vector and the head of the second vector exactly coincide. And that's why, then, that BC plus CB is a zero vector. You could also do this. You could also say that uh, these vectors are uh, head to tail because those are both C's. And so that would equal the vector BB because that's where the tail is and that's where the head is. So it's the vector BB. Now uh, if a vector's tail and head uh, are at the same point exactly, then the vector has no length and it's the zero vector. Now if we rearrange this algebraically and uh, subtract a CB from both sides, we get BC is equal to the negative of CB, which means that they're opposites. So BC and CB are opposite vectors. They're parallel, same length, but exactly in the opposite direction. And we'll use this idea in order to uh, subtract vectors. So when I am going to draw D minus C, I'm going to think of it as this. I'm going to think of it as vector D plus the negative of C. That's what I'm actually going to draw. So uh, I'll start with the D. So there's my vector D and then plus negative c. Well, negative c, I want to start drawing it so that its tail is here, but it's exactly the opposite direction of this, so it's going to come down in this direction. So that vector is the exact opposite of c. So d plus negative c would look like that, so the sum vector, or difference vector, I suppose, would go from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector, so that's the d minus c vector. So subtract vectors by adding the opposite. Now an alternate method for subtracting vectors is to uh, arrange the two vectors tail to tail. So if I take my same two C and D vectors, so there's the C and D drawn tail to tail, both tails are right here, then the D minus C vector is the vector that goes from the head of C to the head of D. So there's the D minus C vector. So notice if it's D minus C, the vector goes from the head of the vector that's being subtracted, that's the C vector, to the head of the original, the first vector, the headed one it's subtracted from. Notice that this vector looks exactly the same as that one up there. Okay, so uh, both methods can be used. So in the example six here, we're asked to find S plus T minus R. So I'll make, uh, I'll start with S. So there's my copy of S plus t, so I'll start drawing a t with its tail right there, so there's my t, minus r, so I'm going to subtract the vector r, so I'm going to draw a vector same length and parallel to this, but of course the tail is going to start here and the head will be down there, because it's the opposite of vector r. So I'll start by drawing that right here, and there's my negative r, my subtracting r vector. So the vector sum starts at the tail of s and goes to the head of that negative r vector. So that vector right there would be s plus t minus r. In the last example, we're asked to write each difference as a single vector. So dA minus dB. Well, let's draw in dA and dB. So there's dA and there's dB. And notice that these two vectors are actually tail to tail. So that alternate method on the previous page is convenient for drawing this vector. And remember, it goes the, the, the difference vector goes from the head of the db vector to the head of the one you're subtracting it from. So this ba vector 
is the difference of dA and dB. So dA minus dB is equal to BA. In uh, the last example, B here, we're asked to go dA minus EA. Well, there's the dA vector. So there's my dA vector. Now, notice in this case that dA and EA are not tail to tail. Uh, the opposite vector to EA is AE. So I can change subtracting EA into adding its opposite. And it's the same idea as subtracting uh, R by adding negative R. So I can change subtracting EA into adding AE. Now notice that these vectors will be tail to tail, sorry, head to tail, because those two A's are both right there in the middle. And so I have my DA vector, and I'm adding the AE vector. So there's the AE vector. These vectors are head to tail. So that vector sum will go from the beginning of D to the end of the AE vector, which would be that orange vector right there which is the DE vector. So DA plus AE equals DE or DA minus EA is equal to the DE vector. And that's the end of the lesson.